Ryan McCluskey. He's the longest-serving inter-county player in the country and there is a reason why Ryan McCluskey continues to put himself through the hard-hard graft and training season after season. At the start of each season, the belief is always the same, that this year will be the one that sees for Mana land that elusive Ulster title. The Enniskillen Gales man was ever so close in 2008 when he was outstanding in the two finals against Armagh but Fermanagh came up just short and as the years have rolled by he would be forgiven for thinking that it just wasn't going to be. Indeed, he has suffered heartbreak in two Ulster club finals as well but he will be hoping that this Sunday that he will finally secure that Ulster success. God knows I've been about a few years at this stage so hopefully this year will be the year, laughed the experienced defender. Look, losing a final is not nice, the defeat in 2008 was hard to take and it would be massive for the entire county if we could go on and lift that first ever Ulster title. It's the reason you play. From my point of view, the goal every year is to win Ulster, that doesn't change any year and you are always hopeful going into the championship that it will be your year. I'm sure it is the same for every county, particularly in Ulster. I suppose coming into the latter years, it goes through your head that we won't win one so it is great to be back in another final after 10 years, he added. McCluskey had contemplated hanging up the boots at the end of last year but a sit-down with new manager and former teammate, Rory Gallagher quickly persuaded him to get back out for another season. I sat down and talked to Rory at length when he got the job and to be honest when I heard what he had to say it was really a no-brainer for me to go back, I would never really make too many rash decisions but after I spoke to him that day my mind was made up straight away to go back for another year, I suppose the other thing was that we had a disappointing year last year and I didn't really want to quit on that note, stated McCluskey. His decision to return came in what was already a really busy time for the defender who had to find time for training to go along with getting married to now wife Donna and opening his own business, Focus Recovery, an injury recovery unit. The end of last year was a mad period. I got married late in December, I was back out with the county and on top of that I was opening my own business and looking to get it up and running, he explained. Recently turned 37, Clucker is the elder statesman of the squad and has played with or against all of the current management team, and he states that he has really enjoyed the campaign so far. Look, I can't speak highly enough of Rory and his whole backroom team, there are lads in there who I have shared the pitch with and lads who I have played against and they all bring their own knowledge into that setup. I've really enjoyed it this year. We got back and regrouped early and we have just worked hard, both management and players. Everyone has bought into it and that has been key, he said, one thing that McCluskey has had to get used to is a different role within the setup, for a long time he would have been one of the first names on the team sheet with his experience and reading of the game crucial to the earned cause but this year he has not seen much game time. While he would like to be on the pitch more he is just pleased to be involved. There is no point telling a lie, you want to be out on the pitch but you look at the makeup of the squad and there is so much competition for places all over the pitch, there is big competition even to get in the match day 26, and that is what you want. Those in the starting positions are aware that anybody can come in and take their place, we've worked hard as a squad and personally I'm delighted to see some of the lads really push on this year, some of those lads have been well capable and hopefully now we are starting to see them really develop and flourish, of course, I would love to be on the pitch but again, it has been a change of scenery, not being in the middle of things on the pitch but I'm grateful to be in the squad since the start of the year and to have been in the 26, he said. And now it is on to this Sunday and a meeting with Donegal in the Ulster final. Donegal have brought in some new faces but they are also a well-rounded squad who have been in seven of the last eight finals. They have threats from all over the pitch and we will need to step up our performances from the last two games if we want to win the game. We know it is a big task and something that we have to prepare well for but these are the positions that you aspire to be in and it would be brilliant if we could go on and win it, it would be a great achievement for the group of lads and the management team.